Today on Fast Food Origins, we're going to talk about the origin of Arby's. But before we get started be sure to subscribe to the Fast Food Origins channel and let us know in the comments below what fast food restaurant origins you would like to know more about. So let's get right into it. Huge excitement surrounded the growth of fast food chains in the 1960s and 1970s, particularly McDonald's thanks to Ray Kroc and KFC thanks to Colonel Sanders. But Arby's, a different rapidly expanding fast food chain, was capturing a sizable portion of the market. Arby's Restaurant Group Inc. is currently the second biggest fast food sandwich brand in the United States, trailing only Subway. Panera Bread and Jimmy John's are in a very close third and fourth place, respectively. But how did Arby's arrive at its current position? How did the idea get started and develop into the second biggest sandwich chain for fast food in the US? In this piece, I'll focus on Leroy and Forrest Raffle and how their commitment to innovation in the food service sector helped to create one of the all-time greatest restaurant chains. On May 14, 1922, Forrest Fuzzy Raffle was born to Jacob and Anne Raffle. On March 13, 1927, Leroy, his younger brother, was born. During World War Women II, both brothers saw service in the armed forces. Leroy was in the Naval Reserve and Forrest was in the Air Force. Forrest received his degree in hotel and restaurant administration from Cornell University. Leroy received his degree from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Finance. The brothers founded Raffle Brothers, Inc. in the 1950s after purchasing their uncle's restaurant equipment company. With a focus on restaurant equipment for operators, the company grew to become one of the top food service consulting organizations in the nation. However, the brothers were observing from a distance the rapid expansion of Ray Kroc's McDonald's and how businesses like Burger King were cashing in on the success by emulating the speedy service system developed by brothers Morris and Richard McDonald as well as much of the operational franchise formula created by Kroc. The brothers thought that there would be a demand for quick service fast food that catered more to the selling of roast beef sandwiches than hamburgers. Everyone else thought we were crazy, but we were completely confident, said Leroy Raffle. The brothers decided to take a gamble and opened their first fast service roast beef sandwich business in Boardman, Ohio on Thursday, July 23, 1964. They intended to call it Big Tex, but since that name was already in use in the market, they decided to call the store Arby's taking the initials R and B from Raffle Brothers. Arby's sought to establish itself as a fast-service restaurant of a higher caliber by charging 69 cents for their roast beef sandwiches, whereas McDonald's offered hamburgers for approximately 15 cents. After the first store proved to be successful, the Raffle Brothers started growing quickly, and by the late 1960s, they had over 300 outlets spread over almost 40 states. However, the rapid expansion necessitated a large working capital investment. The brothers used equity capital and bank loans to assist fund their expansion in the late 1960s. But those funding sources were insufficient to maintain both their existing operational levels and their future expansion goals. Thus, in 1970, the brothers attempted to go public with their organization through an IPO. The IPO was postponed due to SEC changes. And by the time it was rescheduled, the brothers had to give up on issuing the stock due to market problems. Due to their lack of working capital, the brothers became behind on their financial commitments and other business-related expenses. When problems arose with franchise and financial partners, a Chapter 11 bankruptcy file was finished in late 1970. The Raffle brothers would take back management of the business during its Chapter 11 bankruptcy restructuring and work over the following few years to bring it back to profitability. After successfully navigating the bankruptcy reorganization process, the brothers expanded Arby's to 500 outlets across the country by the end of 1975. Comparable to the previous boom in the late 1960s, this growth necessitated a comparable infusion of cash. However, rather than attempting another IPO, 
The brothers agreed into an arrangement with RC Cola in 1976, selling Arby's for $18 million, about $80 million in 2017 dollars owing to inflation. Under the RC Cola brand, the Raffle brothers would go on running the Arby's chain, which by the end of 1979 had grown to over 800 sites. The Raffle brothers, who were multimillionaires, made the decision to leave the food service business at the end of 1979 and stop running Arby's, despite going through several different management structures, including briefly having Wendy's as a partial owner. Arby's has managed to maintain its leadership in the quick service sector and was the first to launch a healthy menu with dishes under 300 calories in 1991. Nowadays, Arby's has more than three 400 locations, generates close to $4 billion in revenue overall, and is franchised through the Arby's Restaurant Group. It is a component of Inspire Brands, a global conglomerate and the second biggest restaurant chain in the United States. America is familiar with the Arby's iconic roast beef sandwich because it has been one of the most well-liked fast food staples for more than 50 years. At the age of 86, Forrest passed away in September 2008, and his obituary said that he was to roast beef sandwiches, what Colonel Sanders was to chicken. Raffle, one of Arby's co-founders, passed away in 2023 at the age of 96. They leave behind a well-known franchise that is currently a part of one of the biggest US restaurant chains with a significant international footprint. In order to succeed in business, an entrepreneur needs to possess two qualities, persistence and self-belief, which are both demonstrated in the narrative of the Raffle brothers. In the early 1960s, when the brothers were considering launching their roast beef sandwich concept into the fast service industry, everyone essentially labeled them insane. Nevertheless, they had faith in their abilities, took a risk, and quickly achieved widespread success. Then, in the early 1970s, after the IPO went bust, filing for bankruptcy, and losing a number of significant bankers, investors and franchisees, everyone assumed they were done. However, the brothers persevered and fought back, bringing Arby's to its highest point ever, and retiring as millionaires in the process. A strong belief system, vision, perseverance, and the capacity to overcome failures are necessary for success in the commercial world. It is my wish that the tale of the Raffle Brothers may encourage you to pursue your dreams and to cling to them during difficult times. For more fast food restaurant origins, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when new content is uploaded.